Good morning everyone and welcome to our session today. Today the webinar is on empowering goal setting and I'll give you a few tips on setting goals especially in these times where things are stagnant and uncertain that we can know there's a future ahead and it's time to empower ourselves and use that empowering to set goals that will bring us to where we want to be. Um, and we will have a talk here, we'll go through a few slides and then we'll wind up with the hypnotherapy to help reinforce our ability to make change and to make those changes in order to achieve our goals and be all set when we come out hopefully of the lockdown and especially when we have to set into 2021, a year of new beginnings and um, hopefully a bit more calmness. Okay, so let's get going. Um, my name is Deirdre O'Rourke and I run a company Awakening Hypnotherapy Life and Wellbeing Coaching and I'm based in Wicklow South and South Coast Dublin um, but I do business online as well so I'm contactable for anything um, and generally doing everything more online these days because of the current circumstances. So feel free to contact me anytime and um, send a message if you want to query about the talk today or any other area of your life that you feel needs a bit more empowerment. Okay, today in the talk we will look at this, a six step goal setting process where we set our goal, we identify goal conflicts, we make the necessary sacrifices and assess potential obstacles so we're not put off, develop an action plan and find our motivation and then we'll have a relaxing hypnotherapy session to set you up for the day and then feel free to submit any questions and I'll get back to you and I'll give you my contact details at the end or you can get through this Facebook live. Okay so just on goal setting. Goal setting of some kind is absolutely necessary as it helps us focus on the most important things that are required to achieve our desired outcomes. We often set goals that we simply do not end up achieving. We need to work out what is stopping us from taking the action needed to transform our lives and achieve these goals. So today we're going to discuss a six step goal setting process. Do you have big goals you want to achieve? Have you possibly had these goals for a while now and haven't really pursued them? And why is that? What has held you back? What reasons do you have for not taking the plunge? Is it possible you are living a life of excuses? Some of them, of course, might be legitimate. We all have things like that that take over our lives. But for the most part, you're probably only fooling yourself with these lies. But why is that? Why do we make these excuses? By using the six step goal process, you may find a path towards achieving them. First, we must look at setting that goal. When most people think about setting a goal, that is all they do. They think about setting a goal. However, thinking about a goal doesn't turn that thought into a goal. What you imagine will remain nothing more than a dream or something to talk about until you actually take the time to describe that goal on paper. With this in mind, it's time to get very clear about your goal. Think of a goal now, one that you want to pursue before we come out of lockdown or before we go into 2021. It's good to have a goal in the back of your mind when we do our hypnotherapy session afterwards. Write down exactly now what you want to accomplish. Make sure that it's an ordinary goal. The goal must be meaningful, challenging, exciting and worth accomplishing. There must be a strong reason and desire for wanting this goal. Otherwise, you simply won't pursue it. So ask yourself the questions. What do I want? Why do I want this? When do I want to buy? So then we look at goal conflicts. Many people don't have any trouble working through the first step of the goal setting process. They clearly outline their goal in a visual way and get very excited about the thought of pursuing it. However, the goal you set doesn't live on an island all by itself. It lives within a microcosm alongside the other goals, responsibilities and commitments, commitments you have in your life. In other words, it is living within an environment 
where it is competing for your attention. It's therefore very possible that an existing goal could hinder your pursuit of this new goal. Given this, you now need to identify these goal conflicts and prioritize what's most important. So to ask yourself, how must I modify my goals to avoid these conflicts? Your pursuit of one goal may hinder your ability to achieve another goal. And then we may need to make necessary sacrifices. <clears throat> Nothing in life comes for free. There's also always something that we must give in order to get something in return. Often that sacrifice comes in the form of time, energy, money, or something else we value. This is especially relevant when it comes to goal achievement. The goal you have decided to pursue comes with a price. The price is the cost you pay for pursuing that goal. Often that price comes in form. How the price also comes at an opportunity cost. Focusing on this goal means that you probably won't have time to focus on other things. And this is the sacrifice you must make. And ask yourself, what am I willing to sacrifice in the pursuit of this goal? Every goal requires a sacrifice of time, energy, money or something else of value. And along the way with our goal, we also have to assess the potential obstacles that we will meet along the way. A great many people pursue their goal with a passionate enthusiasm. When things are going well, they are absolutely loving every moment. Things just couldn't be better and they have all the optimism in the world when they are on the right track. But then suddenly something happens that holds their progress. An unexpected obstacle or setback arises that derails all their efforts. They subsequently lose all their enthusiasm and quickly give up their pursuit. So, to avoid the scenario, take time to identify the various internal obstacles such as beliefs and fears and external ob obstacles, claims in your time, family, work you might face along your journey. Then set contingency plans in place. So question yourself, what contingency plans must I set in place? So outline what internal and external obstacles you may face and how you intend to overcome them. When we get all this information together then, it becomes the time to develop that action plan. Now that you are clear about the potential obstacles you might face, it's time to develop an action plan for pursuing your goal. When it comes to action plans, it's important to make it clear and practical. First, take the time to break your goal down into manageable chunks. Now turn these chunks into milestones that come with concrete deadlines. Next, outline very specific tasks and activities you will need to focus on to help you achieve these milestones. Finally, consider the routines and mini habits you may need to develop that will support these tasks and activities. These mini habits will help you build momentum towards your goal. So ask yourself, what tasks and activities must I focus on? What daily habits support these activities? Break down your goal into small manageable daily action steps. And then it's time to find your motivation. The final piece of the puzzle comes down to this, to motivation. Unless you have the necessary motivation to pursue your goal, then you simply won't have the stamina to stick with it over the long run. Motivation is the fuel you need that will help you get through the moments when you'll be tempted to quit. But how do we develop long-lasting motivation? Motivation essentially comes down to two things, pain and pleasure. Pain will push and pleasure will pull you towards your goal. You can trigger pleasure by visualising the things you will gain from achieving your goal. You can trigger pain by thinking about the regret, regrets you will have if you don't end up achieving it. So again, question yourself, what will I gain by pursuing this? 
What will I regret if I don't do this? Pursue your goal with an inner hunger and drive that propels you forward. So there you have it, a six step process to think about your goal. And with that goal in mind, it's time for you now this Sunday morning. So find a comfortable spot, sit back, be firmly on the ground and close your eyes. This is time for you and time to think about your goals. Think about the, the satisfaction and the, the whole little fill in your life by just getting there and achieving that goal. Keep the steps we did today in mind as you pursue that goal. But for the moment now, we'll try and reinforce in your subconscious all those traits you have that will lead you there to getting your goal. So as you sit back and close your eyes, you begin to notice some changes taking place. The first thing you'll notice is your attention is drawn towards your breathing and your breathing begins to relax. The next thing you'll notice is you develop the need to swallow as all the muscles around your teeth, gums and throat relax and soon you'll begin to feel a comfortable feeling of heaviness developing your eyes as all the muscles around your eyes begin to feel tired and heavy. So tired and heavy but soon they just want to close down and rest in the gentle soothing darkness. Imagine that the air in the room is full of perfect relaxation and that you are breathing in this perfect relaxation through your fingers. A strange concept I know but just imagine that you are really breathing in perfect relaxation through your fingers. That's right. Imagine also that you are exhaling through your toes. That's right. Breathing in through your fingers and out through your toes. Imagine that each breath is traveling right through your body and the perfect relaxation that is carried on each breath you breathe in is flowing deep into every muscle, cell and fiber of your body and mind, deeply and easily. Any tension this perfect relaxation should encounter is being pushed out and replaced. Replaced with a sense of deep comfort and perfect relaxation. So that as your breath goes out, you exhale tension and stress out through your toes and each breath you breathe in through your fingers carries with it this perfect relaxation traveling right through your body and mind. And I wonder if you've noticed just how relaxed your breathing has become. It feels so good to just breathe easy and to just let go. To let go of all that used up on air. And I wonder, have you noticed the way your chest sinks down as you exhale? Now sink down into that feeling. Sink down and just let go. And go deeper into the experience. As you breathe and relax. You want to change your life. You have wanted things to be different for a long time. You have tried to make these changes before, but haven't had success, or maybe haven't had success permanently. So you've come here for the best way, the ultimate way, the only true way to ever change permanently and forever by simply changing the inside, inside your own mind. You've changed your mind many times before, permanently, so you are remembering how to do it again. Changing your mind is easy because it is like turning. You've turned many times before. When you were a baby, 
We learned how to turn. You turned over, you'll have another few, or to really you discovered in your body, or simply because you could, or because it was time. Turning is something you have always done. It comes naturally. Since you were an infant, you've learned how to turn in lots of ways, and you've gotten very good at it. You've turned a corner while driving. You know how to turn. It comes naturally to you. You've also turned while walking. Maybe you were going one way, and you decided you didn't want to go there, so you just turned around and walked away. Maybe you've turned while dancing. When you did, you saw new things, form a new angle, in a new way, and you liked it. You are realising how easy it is to turn. Turning away from some things, putting them behind you, and turning towards better things, keeping them in front of you. Now you can turn over a new leaf. Take your goals in hand. I wonder if you can remember a time when you changed something. Maybe something difficult or something significant. You didn't like how things were going, so you stopped. Or maybe you started. You were resolute. You wanted results and you got them. You charged forward. You wouldn't look back. You were determined and the old way of being was finished. You said, no more. You did that with your own mind and you are doing it again. You made up your mind. You have decided to change. You have now got a goal setting process and you are going to make those goals and follow them through. So you put something down and you pick something back much better up. You flip one switch on and you turn another off. You delete one program and you add another. You push something back and away. You pull something wonderful, exciting, and you forward. You step across the line, the line sep separating the past from now. You step forward into a new day, across the line, into a whole new way and a better way. You are deciding to turn in a new and beneficial way. Instead of closing off, you turn. You accept new information that is helpful to your goals. You open up and take them all the way in, fully. You take in new ideas, new ways of being and doing things that are your best and highest benefit. So you are open and willing to see things differently. You are more open to positive influences. You are open to positive influences and they cause you to get up and move your life into freedom, success, into a new way of being, into change, into your new reality. Your new reality is your creation, your goal, and you meet your goal your own way, as best you can do. The old way is over. You make a solid decision. You decide you are not turning back. The old way is done. It is not you anymore, it is finished, and you are resolute. You build a wall inside you, and when you look back, you see nothing but a wall, keeping what you don't want away from you. Those things you don't want may be thoughts, ideas, beliefs, memories, imprints, or anything that was not helping you. These things will always be in your past, a part of your history, of who you are, but you are sealing them off so they cannot control or affect you in any way anymore. Now you are creating a new reality and you look happily towards the future. You feel very determined and your determination grows. You are looking forward and moving forward. You feel you are in control. You are in control. You know you are. Your ways of understanding are growing keener than ever. You have an eagle eye, and now, more than ever, you see what needs to be done. You see what needs to happen next. You know what to do, and you make it happen. You are able to see yourself 
and your thoughts and actions in new ways. Ways that are clear and everything is so obvious and clear and you can see, you can feel, you can hear what needs to be done and you can do it. You feel, see and know the changes you need to make. You understand and you have new wisdom, new clarity and new vision. Everything is obvious. The answers are so easy and the changes so simple. You are thrilled and excited that you can do it now because you know what to do or how or where to turn or when but now things are different. You know exactly what to do and how to proceed and see your goal. It is like a failure has been lifted. You now see the prize, the goal, so clearly and seeing so clearly causes you to want it badly. See your goal now. What you want to be or have to do, see it, feel it. Feel how good it is to have things exactly as you dream it. Feel the excitement that you did it, that you created it and made it happen. Your hands are firmly on the steering wheel and you are driving. You are making it happen just as you dreamed. You go where you want to go, in body, in mind, in spirit. You are the one. You are it. You make it happen. It's all about you. No one else can do it for you. You make the change. You turn over and you leave. You just do it because you know it must be you who does it. You just do it. Every day, in every way, you make things happen. You are it. It's you and you alone and you are doing it. There is no one else. You must do it. You are the only one to do it. You feel empowered and powerful. Your own power pours into your consciousness from within. Now you can feel it and access it in a new way. You are powerful because you decide to be. Your mind is made up. It is firmly made up. And with your power, you are changing in a very positive way. Moving forward and I feel so good. You are so excited because you know this is the time you will make your dreams come true. You know you are doing it. You are using your mind and your body together. Your mind and your body are at your command. You are in command and you have the power. You are at the controls. Everything is your decision and you are so powerful and your power is growing stronger every day. You say stop, you say go, you say subtract, you say add, you say no more there, you say more here, you create, you build, you just do it, you know you can do it, so you do, and knowing you can do it causes you to feel very excited, you are feeling very ready, you are like a racehorse, ready to charge, you are ready, you feel everything inside, wanting your goal. You are determined and feel the willpower. You feel like you could run a marathon, climb the tallest mountain and bicycle around the world. You feel your desire building powerfully inside you. Your self-control and your willpower are growing so strong that you are changing your life. You know you have what it takes. You believe it and you deserve it. You see your goal, you taste it, you feel it, you are ready and you are biting at the bit to go forward and do whatever it takes. You are like an athlete with all systems and goal. When you come out of this hypnosis, you will spring forth and do what you need to do for that goal you decided on today. The power is constantly building inside you. The power inside you is incredible. When you awaken from this hypnosis, all you know about your goal and how to attain it will come together and you will see the right actions and words to win. You are a winner and you are winning your prize. They go. So you are knowing what is needed, what is necessary. You do what you have always wanted. It is your time. 
The time has come, and it's about you. You see the prize, your eyes are fixed firmly on the prize, that goal you decided today. You are focused and you want it. You deserve it. You want to win, and you are ready to see results. You want results. You see successful results. You are able and strong. You can do it. You deserve it. You are a winner. You are powerful, and you can do what needs to be done to change your life. You fix it. You change it. You are in control. You are it. You are the driver. You make it happen. You are the one. There is no one else. You are the one. You are the one with the key. The key is your inner power, and at this moment, it is gushing forth. Use it. Tap into the power you have, always have had, and change your life. You are a winner. And as you try to conquer your goal, there might be times when you become unsure or you feel that strength of the power of your goal is just not there. So today, I'd like you to make a small circle with your thumb and middle finger. This circle is the international sign for OK, used by divers all over the world, to communicate that they are comfortable deep in the hidden depths of the ocean. And you can use it too as a way to access the suggestions and visualizations that are implanted deep in the hidden depths of your unconscious mind. Because from this moment on, whenever you want to get in touch with those positive suggestions and those positive feelings, all you have to do is make that small circle with your thumb and index finger and you will easily and automatically feel a wave of calm, relaxation and positivity spread through your body and mind, reconfirming that you are safe and that positive suggestions and feelings are just a breath away. All of these thoughts and feelings will go deep into your mind and will be able to help you whenever you may need them. All you have to do is recall them as you work to on that goal you have decided today. How strong you feel, how determined you feel, how focused you feel, knowing that you are on your road to achieving and that you have achieved your goal. Sleep. Allow these thoughts to go deep, deep, deep into your mind and rest there until such times you need them. So in a moment, I will count from one to five and when I reach five, you can open your eyes. One, your mind and body are perfectly in tune together. Two, you're now beginning to alert yourself. Three, you're now becoming more and more alert. You're more aware of everything going on around you. You can now open your eyes. You're wide awake, ready to start achieving your goal and enjoy your life. I hope you all enjoyed that session today and find it useful in making your goals because it's important that we make our goals and focus on our goals or they'll always just be a pipe dream. I run these um, talks with the mind and body every few weeks or they're always available in the library on my um, Facebook Live and Awakenings Coaching which you access today if you want to go back and listen to any more or to tune in. I post if you give my Facebook a like, um, you'll get notifications of when I do others. And I do talks every so often, every few weeks, on different elements of empowering ourselves and getting to achieve those goals. So I hope you enjoyed the talk today. I hope you found it useful. And I'm wishing you a very relaxing and positive day ahead. So thank you for giving me your attention.